so show you guys my Animal Crossing Island. Um, I just bought a Nintendo Lit Switch. Um, I'll show you guys that later. Since exams are around the corner and I wouldn't be going anywhere else, so this vlog is going to be me seeing it home the whole day. I'll try to make it as entertaining as possible so I'll show you guys my breakfast right now. So for breakfast I'm going to be eating fruits with yogurt. Today we have kiwi, grapes, raspberry, strawberry, a variety of fruit. Here's the final product. I added some granola, a piece of biscuit for some crunchy texture and I'm going to serve it with tea. So now it's um, about 12.30 and I'm going to be having some half-boiled eggs. I add a little bit of soy sauce for some taste, just a little bit. gonna be showing you guys my Animal Crossing Island but before that I'll show you an unboxing on my new Nintendo Switch Lite. Oh. Okay. So we got the turquoise version and we have coffee board Animal Crossing. That's a must and the, this, this game is not for me. <laughs> yeah the screen protector and Life carrying case. So these are the three things the Nintendo console and charger. Now let's stop. As you can see, I dressed myself as Mulan. I was looking for princess dresses online and Mulan's design was one of the easiest ones. So there you go, she's now Mulan. And you can see that I planted some red cosmo flowers next to my house. Now let's jump across the river and visit my other residence. So we have Delhi. Oh, where are you going back? I'm not done introducing. Okay, now patties and flurries. Let's visit Flurry for a while. Oh, she's busy, but let's border her anyways. She is very cute. She's such a cute little hamster. Okay, so now let's go back. I'm gonna show you guys the interior of my house. It's only one room, so it's pretty self-explanatory. You can just see everything in one go. There's the kitchen area, I have a wardrobe, a bed, and aquarium and drum set. There's not much here, but I think it looks quite cozy. And here's the barbecue outdoor area, we have a bonfire, I don't know why there's an oven there, but oh my god, sorry Frida. And here's the residential service area, I decorated the place with some roses thought it would look beautiful and attract butterflies as well so win-win situation here now i'm going to be showing you guys the library section the library section is still in progress as well as other areas too so you can see that i decorated the front section with flowers roses tulips but i'm sure you get the idea nature and books what a beautiful combination here and now let's go back. I'm gonna show you guys the museum. I actually just received my first painting yesterday, so still under construction, nook's cranny right over here. And now 
the beach side. So I placed a seashell bed and a telescope, enjoying the beautiful scenery and day and enjoy the beautiful sky at night. And you can see that you can even lie on it to do some sunbathing. How luxurious is that? You can see that I still have a lot of trees on my island. Everything is still in progress. Just no full beautiful picture shown yet, but I thought it would still be nice to share it with you all. And here's the soon to be playground area. It's definitely gonna get more beautiful than this. Obviously I had the image in mind, but I still haven't got all the things that I need. I also have a fossil collection area. You can see none of them are completed yet, but I really believe that when it's all collected, it will be fantastic. Now let's get back to the main area and talk to some of the residents. Let's talk to Frida. She was singing this morning. It was very cute and adorable. What a beautiful voice. So this Nintendo Switch lid, I bought it with Philip and since we only have one, we're actually sharing the island together. So I'm gonna show you guys his home as well. So his house is more simplistic compared to mine. You can see there's this study area there. And look at that DIY desk. It looks beautiful. It looks stunning. He got it as a present from the balloon that he popped. And his bed is right there. He even has like a sturgeon pet fish. Our home looks very different. You can just tell by looking at it. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. Um, and our designs are just really different. He's simplistic, um, more cozy. And I guess that's all for this mini island tour. I hope you enjoy. And now let's get back to some food time. For my third lunch, I cooked chicken breast and some broccoli. Since this vlog is about what I eat in a day, so I thought I would share with you all about my experience on eating habit. So this is about my experience and my issue was bloating. I experience a lot of bloating because I always eat without control. I couldn't stop eating when I full, and of course I didn't like the feeling of it. It felt uncomfortable. To be honest, who doesn't feel uncomfortable when they're feeling bloated? It kind of affected my sleep quality. It made me feel like I want to puke whenever I lie down. So the reasons why I kind of eat without control, I put them down into two points. So first is I don't want to waste food so whenever I see food in front of me and it's in my plate I always make sure that I finish it completely make sure it's emptied I didn't want to feel guilty for leaving food on the plate and the second reason is because I just love food whenever I see food I would definitely eat it even if I just finish my lunch if I see a cookie bowl in front of me I would definitely go and taste it. There are definitely people who can stop eating the moment they feel full and I have always admired that. This is known as intuitive eating and it's basically eat when you're hungry, stop when you're full. I am always having trouble with that so I thought that I could actually practice this eating habit, slowly implementing it and fix my bloating issue. I implemented intuitive eating plus trying to keep my meals as healthy as possible and it actually works for me. I find myself having a healthy attitude and mindsets towards food nowadays. Our relationship has gotten stronger and I don't have to force myself to go through diets because I used to thought that going through diet I can deal with my bloating issue and as well lose weight because eating without control kind of led me to weight gain so I thought it would be killing two birds with one stone deal with the weight gain and deal with the bloating issue it definitely worked I lose weight but it didn't fix the bloating so in the end I just gave up but implementing intuitive eating plus trying to keep my 
food as healthy as possible. I managed to keep my weight at a healthy scale and I managed to fix my bloating problem. I managed to stop eating when I feel full and gain control when it comes to food and that has always been the goal for me since day one on tackling this bloating issue of mine and I am happy that it worked. Like I said, this is just my experience, it's not an advice on anything, so I hope what I am saying really makes sense. If it did, then please leave a comment down below. I'll try to improve my speaking skills for next time. I guess that's all for this little talk session. If you enjoyed it, remember to give it a thumbs up and let's continue with the vlog. For dinner, I had fish, fried rice, and veggies. We cooked too much today. It was too big of a portion, so half of it is going to be left for tomorrow's lunch. Anyways, I think I'm going to be ending the video here. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. If you did, remember to subscribe to my channel, give this video a like. I'll be posting videos every Friday and some of them would be workout videos from time to time if you like to work out with me feel free to do so and i'll see you next week bye